I feel like some players don't even have a personality. Welcome everyone, Nathan here coming at you with another video. Today I want to discuss about a video that I did a few months ago. The video was titled, Is League Dying? Let's Debate. And I've seen that right now, since like a few days ago, this video from a few months ago is starting to have some views. And I'm like, okay, is this something that people want to know? Is this something that people are Googling or looking on YouTube? And I feel like it could be a conversation that could be very interesting. So the reason why I did this video about a year ago is because Overwatch was about to come out and a lot of hype was going towards it. And not a lot of people were talking about League of Legends. But right now, I want to talk about League of Legends as for what it is for itself and not compare it to any other games. I want to discuss things with you as far as content is concerned and what League of Legends is becoming after so many years of being on top. League of Legends today is still one of the biggest esports out there, and I'm pretty much going to focus only on esports. I'm not going to talk about how much people play the game, is it still a popular game, are they still making money out of people buying RP. Maybe those numbers have declined, but it's not really my concern. What I really care about is esport and its growth. From what I've seen on Twitch and all those broadcasting uh, channels, so YouTube for example, YouTube Live, YouTube Gaming, call it whatever you want, is that numbers have gone down. But like, I'm saying a lot down for LCS. Right now, I'm recording this video at 6 p.m. on a Saturday, which is um, the prime time, I would say, for NLCS. And here's what's going on. There's like 40,000 viewers for the first stream of NLCS and 20,000 viewers for the NLCS 2 live stream. This is so, so disappointing. And those numbers are very low. After that, there's four Brazilian streamers and no, they're not competing with any other League of Legends Twitch streamers from North America. But this is bad, guys. I feel like if I'm a cutie pie, Summit 1G were just playing right now, they would just eat the entire audience and nobody would watch LCS. Last time I tweeted on Twitch, some French streamers that I actually know were above in terms of viewership. And it just makes Riot look bad. You guys may know that I used to work at ogaming.tv, which is a French studio that used to broadcast in LCS, LCK, LPL, and that still does. And I used to be an NA LCS shoutcaster. And audiences were really good, really, really good for French. And now that I'm seeing what's going on, I feel really bad for my ex coworkers. I feel that not only the interest has gone down, but people just don't care as much. Like, really. People don't care as much because, well, there's not enough hype, there's way too much content, and just... The game is not that interesting anymore. Nothing has really changed if you really think about it. You may love some players, some champions, or you may be a fan of TSM or whatever, and you're happy to see them. But I'm saying like the overall interest in watching League of Legends has gone low. And personally, I'm finding this very scary for the future of the sport. So, in this video, I want to really introduce you what I think is the problem. And I would love for you to react and to comment down below and tell me what you think. As always, those videos are a discussion with me and you, and the comment section post video is really important to me as it allows me to have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. So please guys, after this video, post a comment about what you think and what your opinion is. The first thing I want to say is that I think that Riot Games is taking too much control over the game infrastructure. Let me explain that. I feel like the way sport entertainment works is something that is very easy to copy as a model. And I feel that League of Legends is making bad decisions from that. As you know guys, a lot of League of Legends teams and franchises and structures are being bought by NBA teams. And I think that because of that and because esports is connected to NBA in some way, I feel that Riot Games is deciding to copying the model of NBA. But this is so much different and this is the problem. In NBA, there's a lot of matches and one cannot keep up with every single matches, right? But the thing is that NBA has been keeping up with the same franchise, the same name for so long that people have grown up being a fan. You grew up in San Francisco, oh, you're a fan of the Warriors. You grow up in LA, you might, you're most likely going to be a fan of the Lakers. All that is just making sense because it's really inside the culture of the city and it makes sense when you think about it because when you grow up, you watch TV with your dad, with your mom, whatever, you watch sport and you just become a fan. But esports is not like that. Esports is way too young. The second mistake that has been done by Riot Games, I think it's the renewal of the game. Ever since I've been a Shankaster, we've seen a rotation between mid lane meta, jungle meta, tanky meta, and assassin meta. This is a huge generalist way to describe it. 
but it's pretty much it when you think about it. We've seen tons of changes across the jungle, across the map, across the items, but this is not really what people care about. As a viewing standpoint, the game has not really changed when you think about it. This is a really big problem as people are trying to look for something different. And the last problem is very correlated to the first one, and it's the fact that there's way too much content. You have so much LCS matches today that it's so hard to keep up. You have two different streams for NLCS, two different streams for EU LCS, you have LPL, you have LCK, and people really want to follow everything, but because they cannot, they just quit everything. Myself, I used to watch a lot of NLCS, EU LCS, and LP, uh, LPL. I used to be a fan of Chinese teams. Right now, I only take the time to watch finals, and I watch LCK whenever I can and I have the time. My viewing time has gone from super high, I mean, it was kind of my job, but I was also a fan and I used to watch just as any regular esports fan would watch, to almost none. And I feel like this is becoming toxic for the community. It's like, there's so much to follow up on and there's so much to know about and like, and like, there's so much stuff going on that People are like overwhelmed and they just don't watch it anymore. They go to other games, they go check out what's happening with Overwatch, with CSGO, and there's just more hype around that. And one of the last things I want to talk about before I end this video is also how Riot Games had, had this entire structure very politically correct. It used to be fun two years ago when Double If used to trash talk and say he was the best and that everyone else was trash. This has not been repeated anymore. Like, this is not existent. There's no more trash talking. And don't get me wrong, trash talking is not necessarily what is good or healthy for an industry. But it, it makes the charm of what sport is really are. When Curry trash talks LeBron James before Game 4, it spices up the event, it creates the hype. Right now, I feel like it's five players just sitting around, playing against another five player. They just play their game and they just leave. There's no, you suck, oh, I'm going to crush you this game. There's no hype. I feel like some players don't even have a personality in this industry. And they're just here to play and we're just going to judge it from the stats, from their last hits, from the CS, from the itemization, and that's it. There's no like trash talking on Twitter. There's no really a big hyping like sources from anywhere and you gotta know that Riot is also trying to prevent that like they're trying to they will tell you okay don't really be unpolite don't trash talk like I think uh, some player talked about how it was messed up and that Riot games were really controlling that and that players won't want to take the risk uh, in case of losing their contracts because when you think about it Riot games is in total control uh, and today they can shut down the whole thing if they want to but I think that trash talking, whereas it's not healthy directly, it could be so much healthier for the viewing experience just because you can get some hype and you can build some suspense and just build up like hype in people. I mean, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. Other players from other sports do it very well. I don't see why League of Legends could be any different. The, the number one argument is that League of Legends audience is very young. But trust me guys, like those new kids are just waiting for this. People love drama more than any other time in the world. People love getting hyped for the little things. It just brings the, the whole competitiveness. Like it just takes only like Bjergsen just uh, shit talking his opponent that he's going to meet tomorrow in the mid lane. It just takes those, it's just those little things that will just build a personality for every player and make them unique and make people go behind them or behind the opponent and it just builds a more a better momentum towards the game and I feel like it will encourage the game. Besides all the point I just said, I think that Riot Game has been dominant for so many years. It's also normal that they they are facing a low. I mean it's how it works. Entertainment business is not always like high, high, high or low, low, low. I'm sure they will find a way to come back. But Riot Game has to really understand that it's not because you copy a model that works aka for the NBA, that it's going to work for you. I think esports is very unique and needs to be defined uh, in a unique way. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it and I hope uh, I expressed my opinion well enough for you to react and post a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you for the next one. Peace. I'd rather die on my feet with my head held high.